Let's turn to Luke 6.38. Luke 6. I love y'all too. 6.38. 6.38. And it says, Give, and you will receive. Your gift will return. Okay, your gift. It doesn't say actually what the gift is. Your gift will return to you in full. Press down, shaking together, and running over for more. Uh, running over and poured out into your lap. The amount you give, okay, that, again, that's not saying money. The amount you give will determine the amount you get back. All right? And, and I brought this ball with us to just uh, to demonstrate this. And I hope it really works well. well right, and it don't go boom down to the rail. Right. Okay. So, what's it for? What's this for? Play. You know, tell me. Playing. Playing. What, what do we do with it? We bounce it. They bounce it, right? What good does it if you can just carry it around all the time? What, what enjoyment are you getting out of it? What are you getting out of it? You're not getting anything out of it. One, you're not getting the enjoyment out of playing. Second, you're not getting the exercise. Okay? So, it's the same way with our gifts and our talents. Uh, giving and it, again, you know, it can mean money, yes, uh, it can mean your your talents, your gifts, works. Uh, um, we just read it the amount you give is the amount you return. So, if I take this ball, and this is the best way that I can demonstrate it, okay, and if I just let it go, well, you got to search after it, but it does return. But if you grab a hold of this thing and you slam it down. Did you see how much more it comes back? So the more you give, so the more force, the more impact, the more you put to it, the more you get in return. So again, you know, if I just let it fall drop, I gotta go after it to pick it up. But if you really give it that force, you get so much more in return. And I mean, I can really force this ball down to where it would probably touch a ceiling, okay? And that's the same way with Christ. I, I